Alright, so here I am with the finished circuit before I make it permanent by soldering everything together. This case I crafted holds the fingerprint sensor and also the micro switch which is underneath and this micro switch here uh, turns the entire circuit off whenever the case is closed and energizes everything whenever it's open uh, whenever the case is open and that's just to conserve uh, power whenever the thing is not being used. So um, what it powers on when you open the case is the fingerprint sensor itself and the uh, and the microcontroller which or the AT tiny chip which is basically the computer that uh, does all the uh, does the basic logic and that communicates with the fingerprint scanner and also decides what to do with the status lights and the actual ignition of the golf cart so that's the essence of how it works obviously it's uh, quite a bit more complicated than that and I will be offering the code for the AT tiny online so I'll include the link to that in the description so uh, you flick it open, red light comes on, and then uh, scan the correct finger, and then green light goes on, and uh, you heard the click, that was the relay there, right there, which will eventually uh, be turning the golf cart on and off. And then uh, you scan your finger again to just turn it off. Yeah, and uh, when it's wrong, and it's in the on state, It'll flash the red light, it'll flash it off, and uh, say it's in the on state, uh, so, then it'll flash the red light like that. That means I'm getting an incorrect finger. So, uh, once again, I'll turn it off, and then you shut it down, like that. Here I have the finished circuit. Um, normally the keys would go across these two, so when you flip on the key uh, on a normal car, or whatever golf cart, um, it allows current to pass through from 12 volts in to 12 volts out, and that turns on the engine or starter or whatever. And um, for demonstration purposes, I have this multimeter hooked up just to um, beep whenever these two have current, will allow current to flow through them, indicating that it's on. Um, that is controlled by these two relays. I have two because together they allow 20 amps instead of just 10 to pass through them, and um, uh, the voltage regulator is separated from the main board because uh, the 5 volt voltage regulator gets really hot when uh, in use. This connector here, it um, has the entire, um, all the wires from this module here going through it, so the LED status lights, the f actual fingerprint scanner communication lines, and the switch here, the power switch. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The circuit's been pretty miniaturized, and, uh, yeah, I'm just going to stop talking now, try it out. It's my right thumb that scans, so I have to switch hands here. Uh, one minute, right there. Give it a second. There you go. And then, uh... Multimeters beeping indicating that these are connected and as a safety thing you cannot turn it off once it is on Unless you turn it off again, so you have to have another person which is with a registered thumb come in and turn your thing off There we go, and then now you can turn the entire circuit off just to preserve uh, the battery of the golf cart All right, so here it is fully implemented in my golf cart um, Everything's closed up, and uh, as you can see, uh, right now it's not working, but uh, the second I turn it on, you can hear the ignition, and uh, then I drive away. And then to turn it off again, I simply scan um, one of the registered fingers and off it goes.